Good morning, everyone. So today on how to cook, I'll be making um, blachan chicken. So um, I'm just going to show you the ingredients that I use for, for my fried chicken. So as you can see, I uh, mixed some, um, some of this blachan chili powder and some of this gogi powder. And then all you have to do is just put it into a bowl and um, the amount of water that you have to add is actually listed on the back and basically it just depends on um, how much chicken you're cooking and how much um, flour or, or uh, blachan powder ratio you would like to have so this was my marinade um, that I uh, marinate my chicken overnight um, and this is when I take it out from the bag. Initially, I was I was going to try and do a healthier option, but then I think, oh, what the heck? So then I moved on to um, trying to deep fry it, and it smells really really good. So with um, so this is the consistency of my marinade. I'm not sure whether can you see it. So it's quite sticky but not too clumpy as well you don't want it to be too clumpy and when you mix it um so the gogi powder and the blachan powder all you want is to have um this consistency and not too clumpy you can just mix it with cold water and it works and now um this is the first batch of chicken going in and preferably you would like to deep fry it for about 15 seconds. I know my oil level does not actually cover the whole surface of chicken, um, which uh, which is also fine. Uh, all I have to do is um, cut into the skin and make sure that all parts of the chicken is cooked. Um, it will take longer definitely, but then it's also um, a much, how, how to put it in a better way, right? A healthier option perhaps, then you don't immerse the whole chicken into oil. Um, and at the same time, it still gets cooked really nicely uh, and I'll show you the end product. Okay guys, and this is the result. Look at that. Look at that crispy golden brown skin. Ooh. And this is how you homemade blachan fried chicken. Until next time guys, see you, bye!